0.2 step 2 why study literary art beauty will save the world lesson objective students will be able to know cope in each other students will be able to formulate good reasons for studying literary art that's what I want you to be thinking about why are you taking this class uh, is there a deeper reason is there something more than the potential of getting college credit or being set up for college I hope so and I'm gonna offer you some ideas for that in this particular part of the lesson. Um, we're going to do that by reading um, an excerpt from Beauty Will Save the World, which is a speech that Alexander Solzhenitsyn gave in 1970 when he won the Nobel Prize. Uh, Nobel Prizes are given to um, writers for their life's work and so in 1970 he won this prize for all of the work that he had done um, for years and years. Solzhenitsyn is an interesting guy. He's not very happy <laughs> in the photo here and it, probably because he didn't have a lot to be happy about. He it, fought in World War II um, for Stalin um, and then and rose to the ranks of captain and was quite successful until he criticized Stalin in a letter that someone must have read and um, snitched uh, uh, about. And then he spent a decade in one of Stalin's infamous prison camps. Um, after that, he was uh, he continually exiled from uh, Russia when he wanted to stay there um, because of speaking his mind about various things. Um, but he did win the Nobel Prize and he did write some pretty incredible books, including The Gulag Archipelago and Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich. Um, and in this speech, he talks a lot about um, art, specifically comparing it to beauty. And talking about how the aesthetic quality, just the quality of being beautiful, might actually save the world when other things like logic, um, like, hello, we're killing the planet, um, I mean, that might be someone's logic, it's an example, um, isn't changing the world. It might come down to beauty instead. Well, you'll have to see what you think. I also did want to um, give you a little more context about someone he mentions. He mentions Fyodor Dostoevsky, who lived 1821-1861. He is the one who wrote um, The Brothers Karamazov, Crime and Punishment, and some of the most famous novels ever written. Sometimes he's considered the greatest novelist ever, so just wanted to get give him uh, a couple seconds of your time as well. Well, why do we care about all of this stuff? How does it have to do with English class? Um, I have an excerpt here from the Nobel speech and then a visual to show you kind of what it means. Um, at this point, um, Solzhenitsyn is talking about the branches of truth and good and how maybe goodness and truth isn't going to save humanity. Uh, but beauty might, maybe it will grow past these others and somehow find the light and um, help humanity survive. Um, well, this comes from um, Western philosophy, first of all. Um, the idea that um, uh, these are the values uh, that make up human existence, according to much of Western philosophy. Um, are these the three key values you think? Um, do you, are we a, are we better humans because of the search for truth and goodness uh, and beauty? What about that search for beauty? How is that different? Why is it in there? Um, how do these things make up the values of humanity? Some things to think about as you're reading. Um, we, of course, when we talk about art, there are different types of art. We have um, music and visual arts and theater. We are here in literature. We are dealing with literary art. So what does art have to do with English class? English class is where we are studying literature which is a type of art form. Maybe the question is, seems too simple, 
but I just want to make sure that we're all uh, making that connection that the fact is this class is a class on art. It's just not visual art. It's literary art. I hope you enjoy the excerpt. Um, I'll also record myself reading it in a separate video if you want to listen as you read. Your job is to find um, five of Solzhenitsyn's best reasons for studying art. How is art and beauty different than other forms of knowledge or other values? Look for what he says is special or good about beauty or about art. Enjoy. <laughs> 